They got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them. I run through the money, the pressure be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage. I'm going through something. That's why I ain't calling. Yeah. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys to a new video, man. Today we're going to be talking about the best shooting badges in NBA 2K20 after patch 11. A lot of people hit me up in my last video, um, telling me that there were more changes to NBA 2K20 except for the slashing and alley ooping. They've been saying that shooting has changed dramatically. A lot of people said that their jump shots either got patched or the timing changed. Some people told me that they had to change their jump shots. Some even said they had to turn a meter back on. Now, I can't lie to you, if you gotta turn your meter back on to figure out your jump shot, it's something in the game and it's not you, for sure, for sure. If you've been playing since September and your jump shot been the jump shot that you had and now all of a sudden it's just changed, that's something on 2K side. So let's go ahead and talk about the best shooting badges. If you are not a shooting build, this video really won't be able to help you. If you are not a shooter, but you have around like a 73 pointer or 70 midi, and you know you got a couple shooting badges, maybe for like quick draw long goal, use base 38. I'll, I'll go into my animations and show you guys what I'm using. But if you are not a shooting build, you don't have any shooting or whatever as a pie, just pick 38. Quick draw on silver should be good enough. If you need more, quick draw on gold is perfect. It's it's quite fast. A lot of people might not be able to, you know, contest, um, especially if you're a big, you know what I mean, like a power forward or a center, and, and you, you're not going against like a, a mobile big with um, perimeter defense, 38 is good enough. But um, you guys see what build I have on the screen. Let's go ahead and show you guys the badges that I'm gonna be using today to show you what I found out. All right, just to be clear, if you guys hear my PlayStation 4 in the background, I cannot stand this thing, bro. But um, just to let y'all know, man, I'm working with an 89 mid-range and a 93-point shot, all right? So don't, don't get on me like, bro, your build is already maxed out, it's great. That's what I'm working with, all right? But let's talk about the shooting badges for a moment. Now, I know that these aren't badges that you normally see on a lot of shooting builds, and that's because shooting has changed so much that we won't really rely on standing still anymore. All right, we're gonna go into that moving wave. Now, don't get me wrong. If you're one of those players that know how to quick stop and you know how to play efficiently behind screens and stuff like that, you can go ahead and do this, all right? You, you, can, you can do this. You know what I mean? And probably have this right here. This could be this could be your normal setup. All right. If you're one of those people that really know how to quick stop, really know their shot, know how to hide behind screens, this is perfect. This is all that you need. You don't need anything else. But for other builds that are going to be, let me take these off. That's gonna be trying this new wave. Let me tell y'all right now, man. It's 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 a little it's a little OD. All right. So check it out. The reason why we're gonna put difficult shots and flexible release on is because it's time to get back to them 2K18 vibes with the moving shots. Now moving shots, all year long, a lot of people have been saying that moving shots have been messed up. Some people are really, really good at them, like Ticino, he can shoot on a move just perfectly. You know what I mean? He just knows his time and, and that's been that way for years. But for those who don't know, these are the badges that you're gonna need. You're gonna need corner specialist on silver. The reason why I say this is, if you don't have a shot creating takeover, there's no chance of you uh, just spotting up doing step backs in the corner for three. But if you have corner specialist on silver, which is all that's needed, you can hit corner threes while moving, okay? Deadeye, if I had 21 shooting badges, I would put Deadeye on Hall of Fame. The reason why you want Deadeye is because when people come up to contest you or jump at you while you're moving, most of the time, it's not gonna count as a contest. Now, I know what a lot of people are thinking, why is range extender down? Honestly, range extender is only an extension of the jump shot that you already have. I have an 89 midi. Really, honestly, I don't need range extender. I could literally put dead eye and corner specialist on Hall of Fame and be cool. But I choose range extender because I want this build to still be able to shoot, whether I'm spotting up in the corner, whether I'm creating my own offense, I still want this badge because I need it. All right, now let's talk about flexible release for a moment, man. This is one of those badges where people, they just wrote it off in the beginning of the game. It's like, man, I know my jump shot, you bugging. Honestly, flexible release on Hall of Fame will help you when moving while learning the jump shot, especially if you got your meter on. It's gonna help you whether you release early or late, all right? Difficult shots. 
this was a broken badge in the beginning of the game nba 2k labs made a bunch of videos talking about how it wasn't needed so the community just didn't put it on but there's been those compy players those league players that put this um badge on because they know how good it is okay now as far as my dribbles go i have all the <laughs> the selfish badges on right now um stop and go i wouldn't put it on if i were you stop and go is just a placebo for today's video don't put that on if anything um i will put tight handles on but sometimes tight handles um negate some of the space creator love so um that's why i don't have tight handles on all right now um also unpluckable hall of fame is getting a little bit better um unpluckable on browsing is still good but um with unpluckable hall of fame i feel like i don't get bump stole as much but um let's go ahead and uh talk about these uh shots for the day right so on screen um you guys see that i put the controller up there um just because honestly the controller is uh is it's is needed i guess you could say like a lot of people they be wanting to know like what a person does um how they shoot stuff like that now you notice i made a, a slightly late there right so um i do shoot with square a lot you know what i'm saying green excellence um i do shoot with square a lot but for some of these movement shots, you will be using the analog, okay? Um, also, don't forget, you got a speed boost, all right? Um, if your build can't speed boost, like, I'm gonna show you what I mean. If you if your build, hold up, no. If your build can't do that, can't speed boost out of one move, then I, I can't lie to you, it's, it's gonna be pretty hard for you, all right? You know what I'm saying? Greens on greens on greens. It's just something about this bad setup that is insane okay it's just something about it that's insane greens on greens on greens guys like i can't lie to you um if you're playing 3v3 this bad setup is perfect because you can get you can get your team into some uh good scoring positions especially if you're just running down court as fast as you can greens on greens on greens and that's that's the furthest two-pointer you could take all right you know what i'm saying and also just to let you guys know this side is no slouch either slightly late you know what i'm saying i believe the right side it just gives you the, the better animations but the left side hits more i don't know what it is but it's something about that left side where you don't have to actually be on the excellent to hit it you can hit excellence don't get me wrong but sometimes you get wonky animations on the left side but you can still hit them joints greens you know what i'm saying like when you get those steph curry animations most of the time bro they're going to be green bro now i'm gonna try to go three-pointer nah see now that animation right there i hate that one but it does go in sometimes i hate that little one one arm just you know what i mean that's the one that you want that's the one that you want and that's the green the green that you want so corner specialist will kick in when doing that all right um let me see what else do i got for you oh almost forgot to tell you guys so check it out these ones right here these the ones that a lot of people gonna be sleeping on when you're going around screens and stuff like that like you can have a person set a screen at the foul line like you don't need to have him so close to the three-point line he could he could call one of those right there and you could just shoot off moving immediately like i'm telling y'all moving shots is coming back yo i'm telling y'all get ahead of the wave before it's before it's, it's over you know what i'm saying now i'm telling y'all hitting excellence and stuff like that it's all about the badges if i took if I took these badges off, yeah, I'll probably miss, but I will make a few because I, I have a high shot. But I'm telling y'all, man, these, these badges are crazy. Look at it, greens on greens, yo. I can't make this stuff up, yo. Like, it's really greens on greens with these jump shots, yo. Greens on greens. And I know y'all are looking at the controller like, why is he using the analog? I'm telling y'all, the analog is the best feel for moving shots, yo. I don't know why, but this year... Like you can, you can, you can do this though. Like you can, you can pull up, you know what I'm saying? In green with square, like, you know what I'm saying? When you pulling up and move, like, and standing still, it's, it's great to shoot with square. But when you want to shoot with them, with a uh, analog, like you gotta, you gotta uh, be moving, bro. Let me see. Green. <laughs> greens bro i'm telling you on a move bro like you might not think that people is out here using these badges bro i'm telling you that they're, they're using these badges bro greens like i'm i'm, I'm telling y'all and then think about it i don't have green machine on like let me let me show y'all look another green by the way 
Look, I don't have Green Machine on. Like a lot of people thought that when the game first dropped, excuse me, Green Machine really worked and it did. Green Machine was really helpful to a lot of people to get that rhythm started. But now we're, we're in April, bro. Like you should know your jump shot. You should know what your green window is. And also the jump shot that I'm using, I'm using 38, I, I believe. Yeah, I'm using 38. I'm like, I don't even have, I don't even have my, uh, my regular jump shot on like green, like, you know what I mean? But let's go back to the moving wave. You know what I mean? Um, there's also people that said that, that, uh, these type of jump shots are good too. You know what I'm saying? They're the space creator jump shots. So, you know what I'm saying? If you, if you, uh, say you're running this way and you hit somebody with that joint green, you know what I mean? Like, yo, shout out to my boy Stax Montana. He had that joint rocking for the last like five years, bro. This spin shot used to do damage to people, bro. Had all these crazy ankle breakers. Like if you watch my career videos, like crazy ankle breakers, bro. You know what I'm saying? You can just, and you can just hit your shot. So I'm telling you, it's all movement shots, bro. It's all moving shots. Like, let me let me go this way. Green. All types of moving shots. So, like, if you if you know you got space creator on Hall of Fame and you know you're gonna create that space and stuff like that, start moving. Start moving. Start getting on the move because it ain't broke. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people they doing they doing all this like quick stop stuff and all that. Like all that. Like a lot of people doing that and you cancel animations and all that. Like, yeah, quick stopping is cool. Like. Quick stopping is cool. Like quick stopping is quick stopping is really good. You know what I mean? But if you could if you can move, bro, if you can move, it changed the game, bro. Like let's start having a little bit more fun with this game, bro. Cause like I'm telling you, you really can't have fun with this drink. Now let me let me get up out of here, man, because I, I don't want to turn this into like a super duper duper tutorial. You know what I mean? Cause like a lot of people. They, they they want they want tutorials, you know what I'm saying? But if you do, let me know, man. Let me know if y'all want tutorials, whether it's uh dribbling, shooting, whatever, uh badges, any anything y'all want, let me know, man. I got, I got a couple answers. But uh if you didn't hit that like button, now's the time to hit that like button. Um I'm not gonna put the big cam back up. I'm just gonna go ahead and chill. Um one last time before I leave, um let me show you guys my badges real quick um real quick real quick oh i do got to show you all my animations so i will show you guys my animations but uh yeah they the badges that i got all right now that we out of there guys let me go ahead and show you guys my animations man so you guys can be the best shooters out here in the park um the wreck is crazy with these moving shots nowadays but um dribble pull up steph curry spin jumpers lance stevenson hop jumper steph curry like i'm telling y'all man get get the moving bruh get them moving also um if y'all want a little dribble tutorial like on the basics you know what i'm saying like momentums uh quick stops uh being able to speed boost out of uh behind the screen and stuff just let me know and i'll probably make a video out of that as well but uh this is your boy ikc signing out i hope you guys enjoyed the video man hit that like button it really helped me in the algorithm yo also big shout out to everyone that watched my um video about revealing my favorite build y'all went crazy on that video so appreciate all the love on that also raunchy is happy about you guys checking out his rebounding wing and the best small forward video i will be dropping a best power forward video soon i'm just waiting on a perfect build and a perfect setup to give you guys that interior uh paint presence we already made a video about the play glass so if you don't have the speed boosting uh, power forward build that is in my top five video, um, top five builds after patch nine. And um, the next video that I'm gonna make about the power forward is interior, not outside. Outside, you guys can use my glass cleaning lockdown that can shoot. He spreads the floor and plays interior defense. But the build that we gonna show you guys, I'm telling y'all the post game is not dead, all right? But I'm holla at you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.